everything's so colorful. Uh oh, there's a song from my babies. Got it, Yes, sir. I got you too. Okay. Oh, they're everywhere. On the top. <laughs> on the top? Yeah. Got it? Right on. Yeah, that's a video. Yes, yeah. sir. It's time to monkey around. I'm here with my buddy from America. We're having a great time in Sinki Sambia. Monkeying around. Just a monkeying around. That's right. Let me pause it right here. I didn't expect this, but the person you're about to meet, her name is Sweet Pea. She walked me around the island and gave me an epic tour of the island. She's one of the sweetest people you ever meet in your life, and this video evolves around her. Thank you, Sweet Pea. And I'm Sweet Pea. This is Sweet Pea, we're yes. in Sink Kids. We are in Sink Kids. Yes. And we are 1,000 miles away from the equator. And because of the, the gleam, the, the glossiness, is because of the that sand thing come from away in Africa. But yes. we are going to Lanina too. And yes. thank you for coming. Sure. And you're from where? Indiana? I am from Indiana. Indiana, yes. baby, yes. <laughs> you need see? to come back again. Yes, we do. I think yes. we'll bring the family back. Look at your tattoo. Yes. <laughs> and you're on a good company too, Royal Caribbean. Yes, Royal Caribbean. Yeah, Royal Caribbean. Is there anything you want to tell them the, about coming to St. Kitts? Oh, come to St. Kitts. It's only 68 square miles, a population of 40,000. And we are glooming. We have an international dock here and we are at the moment we're extending our dock to get the big cruise ship royal caribbean love this island so come on back baby and your, your son does what my son that? is the chief harbor master captain luda harvey so i'm talking about yes all right well thanks you're gonna honey. put it on this the arm on the on the radio i will be putting this on the radio and on my youtube channel and at the moment we are celebrating our music festival Yes. It's um, at the last Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of June. 37 years, like that, of the music festival. So we have people coming on down. You shake your butt, but you don't yeah. break it, baby. <laughs> That's right. They get but don't break it. Yeah. Uh, on this is the government center. Yeah. And across the street here is also government. And then this is a government bank that we're buying. You could yeah, come down a bit where you could take the police guy there, yeah, there. The Prime Minister office mm -hmm. is right up there. Okay. The Prime Minister's office is still with Sweet Pea. Upstairs, yes. She's taking me all around here. Problem. Okay. They teach them how to tie the lace in. What is this? An apple or this is a nut? So they, they get to mingle. That's the whole idea of it. So when they go at the age of five to the real school, they're already into it mingling. So all when they come say, "Bye, mommy. Where's my friend?" What about uh, sports? The, the oh, that big. Hello, uh, okay. hello. I don't know what you say. Football. You use your hand. Yeah. No, here they use the foot. Okay. That's a big thing here. That's what you remember where you picked me up? Yes. That's what they was complimenting on. Okay. Yes, this, that, that. That's a big rivalry here. Like the World Cup. And you Cup. have the cricket. The World Cup's going on right now. Right? Yes. yes. <laughs> and you have cricket with the bat. Okay. Oh my God, man. People will people will bet you. They have yeah. bets out. <laughs> oh my God, they spend the last money. And our stadium has sections, the football section, the netball section, and the cricket. So it's only here and two other islands where you can have cricket in the night. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's a big thing. I don't go because I don't like crowd. But it's a big talk. Sports, football, basketball, cricket, name it. Oh my God. And then they follow up the TV with all these international. But we get some international players come here but some of them are secreted you don't want people to know but if you follow up the tv you could spot them a lot 
which is great. Well, why would someone come to St. Kitts instead of St. Martin or the other island? Why they come here? Because here is more nature impact compared to St. Martin. St. Martin, you're going to see shops, you're going to see things. We're in here. From the time we walk along, you see the forest tree, yeah. you see Mother Nature, and we are more outgoing. Yeah. St. Martin is just like secluded or self, self-conscious. self Right. Yeah, they're not like us, where we all expand, we got that. So people do before the hurricane go to St. Martin because of the duty free and the shopping advantage. Yes. But now from the hurricane, and St. Martin, what, why they stay so long to rebuild back? St. Martin is independent. They're no longer with Holland for the past four or five years. So that's why they're very slow in um, rebuilding. rebuilding yeah. Well, that's something worth saying. You know, if yeah. someone was going to come to the Caribbean now, St. Martin is devastated. Completed. So yes. Uh, so everybody coming here. Yeah, the uh, St. Kitts didn't get hit by the hurricane, so this is a place to come to. This is a place to come. Yeah, absolutely. You wouldn't believe, let's assume the hurricane passed since Saturday or Sunday. This is what St. Kitts were looking like. Okay. This is what St. Kitts were looking like. Oh yes, everybody coming out and praising and tanking. And then we had the like, government headquarters where you took the picture. Yeah. They were bad up. They were bad up. You won't believe that was a building. They, I tell you, we were prepared. Because, you know, when a hurricane passing, oh, yeah. they loiter. St. Martin had a lot of that. Yeah. Loitering, man. I got my own self guided tour through St. Kitts with Sweet Pea. She snatched on to me and said, Let's go. We're going to do it. That's where I've been all day. Uh, and it's nice. It's it's better than the things that's put together for you. It's uh, be, you know, because it's real. I'm getting a real taste of the Caribbean, a real taste of the um, of St. Kitts. Oh, this is a really nice, really nice time. Here's a restaurant we're in. The restaurant. She didn't take me to a restaurant that has signs and advertisements and things like that. This was a door. She knocked on this door and said, "Hey, you know, let us in." They opened up for her and they serve food here, so that's uh like I said, that's this is this is my time in St. Kitts. So I'm getting ready to try I had a banana pancake and now I'm getting ready to try some of the soup. And what is this soup called? That's soup. That's it's just soup. Mutton, goat, mutton. goat soup. Okay. Goat soup with dumpling in it, flour mix up. Okay. You have it from sweet pea. Everything. This is Independence Square. This is a waterfall, but the um the connection is not working at the moment. And then, what happened? The people will go in it and bathe in the water, and that is bad. It's a waterfall. It's historic place. When you're building a home mm -hmm. and you're in the capital and you're going to restore it, when you're building it, you have to put back the same thing. So if you're going to put oh, okay. the wall, yeah. you have to put back the board on top of the wall. Oh, okay. That's the, that's the law. 
And that is bamboo. First time I ever saw live bamboo. And that is St. Kitts. I'm headed back to the boat now. Gotta go back here, go through security checks, go back to the room. That's what I've been doing. Come back about one o'clock or so. Go back to my room, get a drink of ice, ice water, and then take a nap. That's probably what I'm gonna do. I might eat first and then go take a nap or something. Just kind of been chilling. I guess that's what you call vacation. I tried so hard to get a sunset on this whole vacation, but could never get it because it was so cloudy. Um, I think these are some of the best attempts I've got at the sunset, but oh well, there'll be next time. Hey folks, Daddy right here. <sighs> Check it out. That in the water. Huh? I don't know. If you, if you look, I can't do it on here. But if you look, well, the boat's moving up and down pretty good. <laughs> dang, dang. I'll tell you what, I was just, there was a big ball in the sky. I think it was a UFO a little while ago, but I don't see it now. Uh, I took a picture of Dave with it. And I tell you what, dang, dang, this boat's moving. <laughs> Dave said he's doing okay, but uh, I got news for you, man. Dang, dang. I wonder if I could make it if I barfed over the side all the way down there. <laughs> I, I sat here thinking, should have brought a fishing pole. I'll do some serious bass fishing off of here. But I didn't, so. I got guys working behind me. Look at him working. I'll tell you what, people here are amazing. They are awesome. So, Danny Ray, uh, I don't know. Can't really see it back here, but that's St. Kitts. We just left it. And uh, tell you what, we're on our way to the next one. St. Something. <laughs> Lucia, maybe? I don't know. But, all right. I was coming out trying to get a sunset, but I didn't get it. I'm up on deck 12. Not a lot going on out here right now. Kind of working, cleaning the place up. There's a big old TV back here. Can you see it? See, there you go. All right, well. I didn't notice something about these people around here. A lot of them got them little pimple bandages on their ears. Uh, I don't know, that must be something, like some kind of bug or something biting peaceful people. Dang, dang it, bites people uh, behind the ears down here. So far, I'm all right. But I saw a whole bunch of people with bandages, little bug bite bandages behind their eardrums, ear lobes. <laughs> so anyway, all right, I'm gonna get out of here and go get drunk. <laughs> Not really, you know me. Hey, talk to you next time. Okay, I want you to see this. We're on our way to Antigua. This, this shows a live view of the Royal Promenade. It says the sun set at this current position is 6.47 p.m. Sea depth 1,400 meters. That's how deep the ocean is below us. And I want you to see this just to see what how different it is here. Distance to San Juan is 216.1 nautical miles. And we are going from St. Kitts to Antigua right now. Our total distance now is 327 nautical miles. Sunrise is at 5.39 a.m. It's 
sunset 6:47 p.m. And there we're back to the Royal Promenade again a live view. Shows here our position. We're doing 9.2 knots course 166 degrees. Now, the reason I wanted you to see that is to show you how different it is even though we're here and I live right here our sunrise is also about 5:30, but the sunset is until 9:30 at night. So it just I'm just kind of showing you how different it is in uh, just, just a small distance down. I know it's like 2,500 miles or so, but still, it's kind of. I mean, you think about it, that's really not that far. But anyway, I just wanted you to see it.